Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to record a non-Daily Quest video today. It's been a couple days since I've done a, a new deck. Well, not really a new deck, but new to my channel. Um, I had two choices today. It was going to be an Is It Wizards deck, and I've got two different ones built. Uh, they're slightly different in that this one, as you can see by the box art, has Wii Dragon Knots in it. This one, uh, 2.0, tends to focus more on Adelie's. It's kind of hard to say which is better in a, uh, I want to say that the Adelies is a little bit better because I, I just think it's, it draws a little bit more smoothly, but we're going to play a little bit of both of them. And, uh, so we'll start with this one. So just looking at the lands, I have been really fortunate with pulling is it lands. And I mean, really fortunate. I haven't opened hardly any Dominaria, so... Uh, the fact that I even have two Sulfur Falls is insane. So, this list runs 4, 8, 12, 16, 22, 24. 24 instant spells. Wizard's Lightning is an absolute treat in this deck because Lava Runner is a wizard, as are Pyromancers, as are Adelies, and Dragonauts. So, you get Lightning Bolt in this deck. Uh, we run only 8 draw spells, although they are very efficient. Uh, Opt, everyone knows Opt and Chart, of course. Uh, this one is pretty good here because hopefully you can open with a turn 1 Lava Runner. Uh, otherwise, you can just wait until you actually attack to make sure you get the bonus from it. So, it's pretty simple. It's, um, you know, you, you kill things and... Uh, you attack in for much larger numbers than you should because of Dragonauts and Adelies. And the reason that I don't think I like this one as much is simply because the maximum curve is 3. And you'll really want to play both Wii Dragonauts and Adelies. Since she has haste, it kind of works out. you got to play the, drag the Dragonauts first. But let's, uh, let's give this one a play. Play a couple games with it, switch over. You may just play a few games with this one and then do a completely separate video for the other one and you can contrast and compare how differently they play. I find that this one tends to be a little bit more explosive on the damage. Um, however, it's also a little bit more predictable. So let's see what we've got. They're both kind of weak versus control. Uh, the best thing that we can do against Drakes is to draw more creatures and just beat them. Like, this is a bad hand. We don't do anything for the first three turns, really. So we're going to mulligan that. This is... God, this is even worse. But do we really want to go to five? We'll keep it for now. Bury that. This is actually a pretty creature intense to Okay, this just got better. This enters tapped. We're going to play Pyromancer on two. And then hopefully draw an Adelie's maybe. We don't want miracles. Pyromancer on two. To face. Opponent sitting on two mountains. Probably going to play an island here. Oh my goodness, we've got a mono red that had no play until turn three. And it was that guy who can't even block this turn. What do you want to say? He's going to have a hasty boy next turn. That's okay. So in that case, I have no reason to play anything crazy. He can't block or attack alone, so we'll do this. If he plays someone with haste, we will Wizards Lightning the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, okay. Alright, drawing a bunch of lands here. This deck does not like a bunch of lands. Get in there. And turn. Worst comes to worst, we're going to start going face with some of these spells. Let's opt. Because I don't want another shock. I want a creature. I want an Adelie's. Ah, Lava Runner's okay. Uh, with that being the case, I think I'm okay doing this now. Because I want to make sure that we do this and get in for four. 
you'll notice that all the burn in this deck goes face. We don't run lava coils. Everything can go straight to the dome if necessary. Let's see. Sorcery speed, target creature. Yeah, we can't have that. Neither can he. I don't know what he was doing, I, but he wasn't doing it well. There was not a whole lot going on on his side. Probably a bad draw, maybe a risky keep. And of course, he got put up against a fairly quick deck. Even though that wasn't nearly as explosive as we can be. Double whelp. Whelp, whelp. Karn staring at you with those dead eyes. Okay, we've got a Lava Runner, and hopefully that Opt will draw us into something. So we're going to keep this. We will start with Steam Vents paying two black mana over there. Doesn't tell me that he's going to be insanely fast. Discover a way. Yep. Okay. It is possible we are playing Demir that had no islands. It is possible we are playing Mono Black because he just flipped a black card, Elder Freeborn. This is going to be tough. He's going to be just completely laden with kill spells. Let's play this. Get in for one. And since we've attacked, we are going to chart one course. Alright, we Dragonauts is good. We will be playing them next turn, attacking for one. And then the turn after... We will see what this deck can do if they survive. Play the drags. That way he's less inclined to kill the Lava Runner now. Get in for one, hopefully, at least. Is he going to kill the Lava Runner? Oh man, oh man. The super secret Lava Runner tech, Fungal Infection. That's a pretty good value card right there. And he just straight up drew no lands. I'm guaranteeing that's what it was. It was going to get ugly from there. Y'all aren't going to be able to see what this deck can do, apparently. Because people are just going to be quitting. Molder Hulk. I think I have like nine of these. It's okay. Can never have too many Molder Hulks. Rest assured, there will come a day that that only four of a card rule will be lifted again. It'll be back like it was in the alpha days. You could run as many Black Lotuses as you wanted to. I mean, I mean, back then you could afford as many as you wanted to. They weren't super expensive. That's not so much the case now. Ugh. So this isn't terrible. We've got plenty of time to draw a third land, or to draw a blue land. I think we're going to keep it. I want to try it out, actually. This is not this is not a guaranteed easy win. Okay, against green, it's good. Oh, gosh. Against Merfolk, it's less good. Okay, we've got a turn two play regardless. So we can play Pyromancer, do two to face, and then block with him, because they can be as aggressive as we are. Although, usually it takes blue for that to be the case. Not necessarily. Alright. You're making me want to kill that dude first. But now, we need to go ahead and get our board present. Uh, yeah. I think I'll choose that player. River Herald's Billy. Hmm. It's not a bad little card. Oh, goodness gracious. Going all in on the merfolk enchants, really? Okay. So, we did not draw our blue land, which tells me now that we know that he's drawing this to give a creature 1-1 one, one in flying, we can 2-for-1 him? If I attack... And he blocks. I can no longer Wizard's Lightning next turn. And surely he would. He would make me spend the Shock and the Pyromancer to kill one guy. Uh, this is... iffy. I 
then lightning this one. Okay. Still not drawing our blue sources. So this guy right now just knows for a fact we are 100% on mono red play spells. Pass, pass, and a turn. Let's do four to face. There's no way he lets me draw. It's way too early for that. Although, I don't know. He may think I'm just sitting on Pyromancer lands. Wow. Okay, I was about to say. Two more to face. Two more to face. All in all, this isn't going horribly. Alright, Llanowar Elves, those are not a problem. If we draw an island or a blue source, this is going to be a great turn. Oh yes, here we go. So this could be the turn we win. So what we do, we play this, we pay the two. We play Adelise. And then we shock here. Good game. See, this is why I like the Adelise version, because the Wii Dragonauts, I could have played them that turn, but they just weren't doing much for me. Yeah, he, um... That was a weird deck. I don't know what he was doing on that. He was like, mono green, Merkle cramp? Or he just didn't draw his other colors. Which is incredibly unfortunate, given... Well, no, he wasn't mono green, because we, uh, we saw the blue card in hand. He just never drew his second color. Oh, goodness. Okay. We'll go a little bit on the control -y side with this one, it looks like. Open with a tapped steam vents. We'll even have an ionize. Oh, mold a six. Mold a five. And he enters scoop phase. You watch. Scryed one to top, maybe not. This might not be another, this might not be a good one to look into. Okay, we know he's playing white, we don't know what else he's playing. Let's find out. If we see an Odonto Vanguard, okay. Fountain of Renewal. I'm guessing at some point he's going to be playing Swamps and or Black Sources in our future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scry that to the bottom. We have enough lands, even though that's another red land. Okay, we'll keep another opt in hand. So we are going to be playing Zivi Dragomots. And saying, kill them. Is he really Selesnia? Ooh, he might actually just be hard Selesnia. Because we can, we can do a lot of things with that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to opt main. So we can get in for a little bit of extra damage. Bury that. Figure out what we draw here. We could lightning strike face, get in for another two. So it'd be five, eight damage this turn. I actually think I'm happy just charting a course right now. Because we got a... Another stuff, a couple things we can discard. Oh yeah, there we go. Discard a mountain. And then go ahead and start controlling the board a little bit. And then seven face. Pow. Right. Fighting against this thing is a pain in the ass. Fountain of Renewal sucks. Okay. The Wood Shaper. Top four cards, give him a creature or enchantment, and he failed to do so. Also unfortunate. Goodness. So, let's see. How much can we do this turn? Let's opt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is happening. Play Adeliz. Two to face.
Now he has to deal with both creatures, and then loot, and then our lightning strike will still kill him. And if that doesn't, lightning strike ionize will. Actually, he'll be one shy with the ionize. He's got to wipe the board here, basically. He's got five mana. He can do it. Maybe he can't. Seriously, my ICRs the past couple of days. Not a single rare. Even a bad rare would have been nice. Pride of Conquerors. I love this card. I don't know that I had four of them. I'm pretty sure I do now, though. Mm. Stretchy, stretchy. Tiger Hand. A strange name. Okay. This. Okay. This is better. I would love to swap out a Dragonauts for an Adelise, but that's okay. Play this tapped. Turn two Pyro. Turn three Dragonauts if we draw land. Otherwise, turn two Pyro. Black mana. Okay. Welp. Let's see his face. Let's see if he has the fungal infection. That would be bad for us. Wild Growth Walker. That's going to be an issue for us big time. And so... We still play the Dragonauts because we have seriously nothing else to do. We are not going to attack because that would be dumb. Gaining land, or gaining life, and drawing lands. That's... Oh, that's right, because I've only got three damage on board. No blocks. Okay. Let's see here. I think, best case scenario, we play Dragonauts, and then opt to chart a course next turn, get in for boatloads of damage. Not really able to do much about the board state, so let's get in there with him for now. He would probably trade the 1 2 for the 2 1, and if we draw Adelie's, that 2 1's actually a little more worthwhile to us. Okay, he's looking at my creatures. He wants to kill something. I'm guessing it's going to be the Dragonauts that's untapped. He's got to have a kill spell. He's got six cards in hand, and he's playing black. Maybe not. Yeah, we're not going to bait that one out. I mean, if you want to... I'm not going to block a 1-2 with a 1-3. You're just obviously throwing it in there. I got some pump spells going on. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I could have been just completely off on that. Okay. So... I think we chart a course. Figure out what we draw. If I have to discard Lava Runner, that'll be fine. Okay, Risk Factor. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to discard Lava Runner. We're going to play the Sulphur Falls. We're not going to play the Sulphur Falls because I've already played Land this turn. Hmm. Um, this is an instant, so I can actually get in 10. Let's see what he does. If he kills one, I'm not going to bother, or am I? I think I'm just going to let that resolve. He's, um, I'd be losing out on more... Okay, the more spells that I play this turn, the more potential damage I lose out on if I were to draw something like Adelise. So we just play the Pyromancer. Two face. Last turn. Okay.
And one thing, We Dragonauts says whenever you cast the instant or sorcery spells, so whether or not they let this resolve or uh, let me draw, I'm still getting the plus two plus zero. So if they take four, they're taking an extra two on top of it. Okay, I don't think the Dragonauts are going to be making it. Yep, yep, yep. This just got out of hand. Well, that helps. Okay. Well, let's see what we get. If, we're, if we get a shock... Okay, we got our shock. That's going to go straight to her. Because I don't want them gaining any kind of creature advantage. And then I think we just attack in... And then lightning strike the wild growth walker if they block. Otherwise, we risk factor into turn. Okay. All right. Reset the board. We've got our risk factor. They've got five cards in hand. We are probably not sitting beautiful. Oh. Wait, are that probably not sitting? in a good spot right now just became a definitely not sitting in a good spot right now okay druid of the cow is not the most fearsome thing but i am however going to go ahead and do this main phase he's going to take the four no surprise next turn i'm going to hold the mountain because next turn we're going to do it again i want to have something to discard if i did that now i'd have to play the mountain then i couldn't play risk factor Plus on no one Vivian. Wilds like I do. Creature or land. God, she's good. And there's the Jade Light. Okay. Okay, well, Jade Light by itself is fine. That's not life gain. Life gain is our boon. Sorry, our bane. Boon and bane. Another Jade Light. Okay, well, this could actually get fairly ugly. Branch Walker, Graveyard. There we go. Wild Growth Walker. That's what he's been looking for. All right, well, let's start with, um, Charter Course. All right, discard a card. I think we're going to be discarding the Shock. And then attacking in the air for two. Because now we have six mana. Next turn we can Risk Factor twice. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That straight up kills Adelie's. Dumb. Where I'll go with Walker, does he have an explorer? Yes, he does. Okay. This game might have just gotten out of hand. Chupacabra means that our creatures are going to survive zero full time. Oh, no, that's fine. Put it in the graveyard. Drew it to the cow. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to draw and double risk factor. Ooh. Yeah, we have but one choice here. We're going to Risk Factor. Discarding this, because it costs too much to do three damage. He'll take the four. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if he didn't take the four, there was a possibility that we could draw something, but it wasn't very good from there. That deck is going to be very difficult for this one to beat. I mean, 100% of the time, the only way that I've found to beat it is to make sure that you have in hand a three damage spell for that Wild Growth Walker. Even one trigger from it can often be enough to make it to where you cannot win. And if it stays on the board to the point where it takes at least two burn spells to kill it, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be real hard to come back from that. You do end up at a card disadvantage in this deck very quickly because you're playing a lot of really weak stuff in order to get Adelise out there and, and Wee Dragonauts out there to get in for explosive amounts. Osagvar. Ah, uh, this is good. We will not be using Opt early. We'll go turn one, Mountain Go. Turn two, Pyromancer. Turn three, Adelie's. Turn four, Wizard's Lightning Opt. Unless this gets out of hand, in which case we're going to have the Pyromancer here. Ooh, even better. 
All right, mouse. Okay. Oh, jeez. Life gain. Welp. This is a quick trade. Because that thing is going to be a problem, and I don't care about that two damage he's going to do. So, we Dragonauts. If he doesn't have a removal spell for that, we're going to play Adelie's Lightning. And that's what our, we're going to be bolting. We're not going to be playing Adelie's. We're just going to bolt this right now. Attack for three. He will not block if he's smart. And then charge course. Okay. Okay, dual Adelise is not great, but it's not awful. The mono white decks don't tend to run a ton of removal, but that's the one they do run. Right there. So it's on the Dragonauts, that's fine. Because now we've got still two wizards in hand, and we need to draw lands. So we go Pyromancer this turn. And then two to face, obviously. And I'm going to opt now. Just so he tries to play out extra. And we still want lands, so I'm going to bury that for now. There we go. Uh, yeah, I didn't just tap. We're not going to be using it. I still think we're sitting okay. Adelis and double lightning strike. Not even counting what we could be drawing. Okay, he is turning it sideways without pumping it, so that's good. Oh, good. Another land, too. It gets better. All right. Let's test for seal away. Or settle the wreckage. Really? Let's see. Do we just go three to face, making it four? Let's see, two, four, seven, nine. Yeah, we'll do that this turn. Three to face. Now the seal away comes out. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's fine. Now what we want to draw is simply a land. Oh, that'll do too. Because we go... Obviously we want Adelaide, yes, I'm sure, 100%. I'll choose this one. Yeah, strike face. Get in there. Good game. He could have blocked the 3-2 and survived another turn, but I think he was fairly certain it was over at that point. A shock next turn was going to hurt, unless he started to gain more life. So yeah, that's uh, that right there is the original Is It Wizards. This is a very budget deck. I'd like to point out Adelie's, though legendary, is an uncommon. We Dragonauts, uncommon. Ionize, not 100% necessary. In fact, probably one you could just remove altogether and put in another kill spell of some kind. Um, the lands, as important as these are, are not 100% necessary. You can still run basics or even tap lands. It's just going to be slightly slower. Um... But, I mean, it is it is commons and uncommons all the way down the board. Two risk factors and the replaceable ionize. Now, what could you replace ionize with? Well, we could look at dive down. That's an option right there. Someone goes to kill your Adelise while she's attacking. You just give her plus zero, plus three. And, uh, heck, that makes her kill a lot of things without dying, actually. If you just plus zero, plus three, if they block, she can then... Uh, or not Adel like Adelies and the Dragonauts, they, that can make them kill things like Niv-Mizzet, but still dive down on your own creature is not a good way to kill a Niv-Mizzet, but <laughs> you get the point. Um, other options, the Blink of an Eye is not a bad option. It's a little bit mana intensive if you want to get any good kind of value out of it. It anticipates um, not terrible. Instants and Sorceries are always good, but let's see, if, we're, if we wanted to remove Ionize... What are some other good options? In a creature-heavy meta, Shivenfire's not terrible. 
Actually, this is kind of a funny thought. Thud. Because you cast Thud, it pumps the Wee Dragonauts before it resolves. So if they've already gotten big and you've gotten in there and they're real close to dying, you then cast Thud, they get even bigger, and then you fling them at their face and skadoosh, game, set, match. Uh, let's see. Haven't seen any real reason for Smelt main deck. Haven't seen a whole lot of reason for its sideboard. Fire Urchin, I tried a little bit, but that it's not a wizard makes it makes me a little less... I just don't really care to cast him that much. I haven't thought about using Dismissive Pyromancer as a 2-2 two, two for 2 with a kind of an upside to him. He might actually be a decent replacement. The reason Pyromancer, or Viashino Pyromancer, is in here is because he just always goes face. You always get into... Um, lava coils, if, you know, I mean, if you've got lava coils and you run them in here, you're not wrong. They just, you know, it's kind of dead against most control matchups because you want to play early, early things. Uh, but yeah, the opportunities to change this deck, I mean, you can, you can put more into it. Uh, oh, actually, Tormenting Voice over here wouldn't be a terrible one either. It's sorcery speed, but it is draw. Anywho. Give it some thought. Um, oh, wow. I hadn't even thought about that. That could get in there really big. Of course, it does cost three, so it would have to be on a turn after you play something like the Dragonauts. But okay. Done talking about what could be. So that's pretty much how it plays. It's play creatures, get explosive, get in there. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I will, I will do a separate video for the other version of the deck. I don't know when I'll get it done. Maybe today, maybe this evening after I get off work. But we'll see how I'm feeling. Other than that, I hope everyone wins your games today. I hope that you get amazing individual card rewards. And, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.